it just turned really, really bad really, really soon. Quick. So we have to confess and come clean. Khloe Kardashian and Scott Disick just pulled off the ultimate prank on Kris Jenner. And honestly, I'm both mad impressed and seriously terrified. We had fun. On Thursday during the season 19 premiere of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Coco and Scott were back at it, proving they are the king and queen of pranks. I'm thinking I dress up like her and we have a paparazzi take photos of me. Yes, that's the money. You might remember last season, the good American designer dressed up as her famous momager and had Scott direct a photo shoot where she ate fast food, littered, and smoked a cigarette. Hello. Hey, Chris. There is someone trying to shop very unflattering photos of you. The plan was to have the family's publicist send the pics to Chris, saying a media outlet was about to publish the not-so-flattering shots. Savage, right? It was definitely a process. Well, according to Chloe, that first set of photos wasn't that believable, so they upped the ante and tried again. So tonight is the start of phase two. Hello, you guys. Hey. We need to get some actual photos that are gonna be believable. This time, Chloe got Chris totally wasted at dinner, so the events of the evening would be a little hazy. I have the bartender giving mom her dirty martinis, and I have my water martinis. Um, that the bartenders are giving me. And mom thinks this is my first time ever having a martini, so I have to do the whole, like, oh, <laughs> this is so bad. Then the 36-year-old enlisted the help of Chris's assistant. As soon as my mom gets home tonight and she's drunk and throwing her clothes all over the floor, whatever, to get all of her stuff, throw it in a trash bag, and Kim will get it to me, and I will be in the Chris Jenner outfit from my toes to my jewelry. It's all going to match spot on. The next day, Coco, with the help of her glam squad, straight up transformed into Chris. Isn't that crazy? And with Scott and a photog in tow, she made her way to a liquor store and got to posing in a dumpster. Get a little bit of the brick so it feels real. Get a close up. I found it. Is that good? I feel like I'm Spielberg out there shooting this shit. I mean, I'm killing it. I'm getting every angle. I'm putting together a movie. Oh, yeah. Next up, they recruited the fam's publicist. Yeah. I have a quick, quick thing. Yeah. Can I run it by you? Sure. So TMZ called yesterday, and they have, you know, kind of following up from the images last time, they have images of you from Monday night. Yeah, Chris's boyfriend, Corey Gamble, he was in on it, too and lied like a rug, confirming they stopped at a liquor store so he could go to the bathroom. And that's when Chris started to freak the heck out. I just don't remember what we were doing. What are the trash can images? You had to pass them to go to the bathroom. I did. Well, I told you to wait and you didn't like listen to me. Well, that was a mistake. Can someone give Corey the Oscar? Bravo, Corey. Bravo. I know I was really tipsy and I had had a lot to drink, but I always rely on Corey. I couldn't have any more security. And yet, somebody has photos of me, drunk as a skunk, at a pit stop that we apparently made. It's safe to say they fully punked Chris, and she was distraught AF. We have to confess and come clean. Yeah, they fessed up, and Chris wasn't too happy about it. Wow. I honestly don't like you guys anymore. You just got true. But in a sneak peek at next week's episode, it appears they keep the prank going, since Kim doesn't know that Chris knows. It's just tune in, because you never know what's going to happen. Of course, the season premiere comes after the family announced that the reality show is ending after its 20th season in early 2021. G. Goodbye. <laughs> but a source previously told E.T. that they aren't ruling out the idea of doing other shows in the future. And when E.T. caught up with Keeping Up executive producer Ryan Seacrest earlier this month, he dished on the family's choice to say goodbye. In talking to the family, this was a very, very hard decision for them to make. And, and I know even you know, before and after the announcement came out, they were emotional. We were trading texts and emails after the announcement. Uh, and you look back at 14 years and 20 seasons of a camera in your life and think about that. At some point, you're going to say, you know, we did it. We had a great run. We're going to live with a little more privacy in our lives. And I think they just felt like now is the time to do it. 